This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV. I'm at CES 2011. I'm joined by Paul Goldberg, Vice President, Sales and Marketing for DXG. Welcome to the program, Paul. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, Paul, before we talk about uh, the product that we're going to show today, maybe you could tell us a little bit about DXG as a company. DXG has been in business for approximately 20 years. Uh, we are new to the Canadian market, actually, but uh, we are uh, largely a specialist in digital video camcorders. And uh, we actually have uh, introduced at the show one of the first 1080p uh, 3D camcorders that are available. Now, we're actually showing pictures of the camcorder so people could see what the camcorder looks like. Uh, why don't we talk about the features of the camcorder? It's 1080p. Uh, what's the storage capacity? What are the features? It really has a storage capacity that's dependent on the size of the SD card that you put into it. So you can put in up to a 64 gig card uh, and you'd have plenty of, believe me, way too much video that you're going to be able to record. Can you give an estimate of how many hours or how much time? With an 8 gig card you should probably get about an hour and a half's worth of video at 1080p. Okay. What about uh, you know visual flexibility? Do you have any zoom control, anything like that? Yes, the product does have a digital zoom built into it. It has a 4x digital zoom. Uh, the uh, product also has the capability of doing both 2D as well as 3D recording uh, at a variety of resolutions at either 1080p, 720p, or WVGA. Okay, excellent. Now, as far as how the content's recorded, is it recorded in a specific format? Will it only work with certain uh, 3D televisions? Uh, you know, how is it handled? It's universal. Um, it's H.264.MOV. That's the file format. So it's basically a QuickTime file. Uh, you would then you can easily edit it with the software that we provide. And uh, if you want to, the ease of use is phenomenal because basically you take an HDMI cable, plug it into the camera, and you can put it into your 3D TV and view view directly. Now, something about 3D is it's hard to view unless you've got a pair of glasses and an HDTV. I understand. And so if you're using a camera, I'd imagine you want to be able to preview your work. Uh, is there a way to do that with this camera? Maybe you could show it on the, the, the screen. Absolutely. This camera actually has what's known as a parallax barrier display. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to turn it around. And you're actually going to look at me. The parallax barrier display allows you to see it in native 3D without the use of glasses. So you don't, you don't need glasses, you view it, you should see stereoscopic 3D right on the camera itself while you're recording, or playing back, should I say. Exactly. Excellent. Now, separate from this unit, I understand you have a similar product, but designed more for, for kids. Can you, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, it's, uh, can, it's our 3D view, and actually I have one right here. Basically what you do, it's a, it's a really small camera, it's a stereoscopic camera and it, you would just take your still shots, it only does still shots, uh, then you would take your SD card out, put it into your printer, or into your, uh, uh, put it into a card reader in your computer, you print out a little strip, a, bi a binocular strip that you would put into a little paper uh, display right here, and uh, the beauty of it is is that it's quick, it's easy, you get five of these uh, viewers that are, that come in the box, and we sell extra viewers, so, you know, in 10 packs. R remind me, what's the quality of the camera? What, what resolution do you get out of it? It's a, it's a SIF camera, so it's 0.3 megapixels. So, but the cost is only about $50. Excellent. And the, the other model, the model that you were showing earlier, what, what's the going rate for that unit? $300. It's so very affordable for anyone who wants to take advantage of stereoscopic 3D camera work or filmmaking. And I take it it works in traditional 2D as well? Yes, it does. It also takes still shots in 3D as well as 2D at 5 megapixels. Excellent. And are, when, when are these products available? Are they available now? Are they coming out in the new year? The, uh, the camcorder, that the $300 camcorder, uh, is going to be available in May of this year. Uh, and the other, the small... The small camera, the still camera, is going to be available in February of this year. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us. Uh, we've been talking to Paul Goldberg from DXG, showing us some wonderful new uh, stereoscopic 3D cameras. We'll be back with more from CES 2011.